Hello everyone, this is Ross. Welcome to another Morning Minute. It's Monday, February the 20th. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about the devil, the enemy of mankind. In, uh, in my own personal devotions, I've been reading in the book of Luke. And so I've come to Luke chapter 4, which is, uh, it, it reveals just a story of the temptation of Christ. That after he was baptized, the Holy Spirit of God sent him to the wilderness. And for 40 days, Jesus fasted in the wilderness and literally did combat, did, did, did battle with the devil, with the evil one. I want to read you some of these verses and give you some thoughts today that will also continue a little bit tomorrow, maybe even on Wednesday, and sort of put some things together for you and I to be aware and to be conscious of and to know. So in uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 1, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, where he has just been baptized, and he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Then we move on to chapter uh, verse 8. Another temptation to come Jesus' way by way of the devil, because this is all that passage of Jesus being tempted by the devil. And Jesus made an answer to him, and Jesus answered and said, Get behind me, Satan. So in this passage, we, we understand some things. First of all, we understand that according to the Bible and according to the person of Jesus Christ, the devil is a real being. Now, um, growing up, there's caricatures and cartoons of the devil as being... Uh, in a red flannel suit, having pointed ears, having a pitchfork tail, and, and carrying a pitchfork as well, and ruling hell. Well, those are all just cartoonish. There's nothing real about him. He doesn't have a pointed tail. He doesn't carry around a pitchfork. He doesn't wear a red flannel suit, and he doesn't rule hell. All those things are not true, but typically cartoons are just made for fun and not made for reality anyway. But with that being said, the devil himself is real. And according to the scriptures uh, throughout, from, from Old and New Testament alike, there's the battle of the devil versus good, versus God, and versus the godly. Um, so the devil is revealed as a real entity. So he's not make-believe, and he's not just a manifestation that we've given for what evil is to personify evil. No, there's evil because there's a devil. There's not a devil because there's an evil and we just personify it and give it a, a name and a face. No, the devil is a real being. And according to the Old Testament, we won't get into the depth of that for this little devotional we do in the morning, but according to the Old Testament, specifically the book of Isaiah, he is an angel that lived in heaven with God the Father. He rebelled and actually led a rebellion against God. And in that time of rebellion, he was kicked out of heaven and those angels that he had raised up to rebel against God were also kicked out of heaven. And the exact number of angels is not given. But it does declare to us in biblical truth that it was one third of all angelic beings. So one out of every three angels was deceived by the devil himself at that time who was Lucifer. And then rebelled against the authority of God. And then God kicked him and that one-third of the angels out of heaven. And now those fallen angels are not called angels, they're called demons. Now in this passage, there's two names given to the evil one. His name is given as the devil, and his name is given as Satan. Now what's interesting is the word devil comes from the Greek word diablo, which is where we get the word diabolical, one that does evil things or wrong things. And then the second name that we read that was found in verse 8 of this passage, when he, Jesus spoke to the devil, he said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Well, the name Satan is literally a transliteration of the Greek word satanas, or Satan. And it literally means the adversary. So as we study the word of God, we realize that there really is a God, there really is good. Jesus was a real person. He really was the Son of God, but when he was walking this earth, in the 40 days of fasting and prayer, he did battle with the devil in the wilderness. And during those 40 days, the battle took place, and at the end of it, the temptations are, are 
played out for us in the scripture in Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4. And we see Jesus then battling and how he battles the devil in these passages. And of course, he's victorious, which is wonderful for us because uh, the devil is a real foe. But we know that through Christ, we can have real victory. So tomorrow, let's talk some more about the devil. I want to give you the four different weapons the devil uses against you and I and share with you a verse out of the book of 2 Corinthians that speaks about the devil and his battle with humanity. So today, let's wrap it up with these thoughts that we've given you. I pray that's a help to you, that you understand that there really is a devil, a real evil entity and person that the Bible says roams the earth, seeking whom he may, whom he may devour. But also be encouraged that through Christ we can be victorious over the evil one. All right, we'll talk some more tomorrow. Have a great day.